So today I attempted to strip and stonewash my BK9 and it turned out pretty good. So I'm gonna show you through the process, but basically all I did was use some Jasco. I've, you know, I've watched a few different videos on stripping and stonewashing and different techniques and things like that. So I figured I'd give it a try today. So this is my BK9 and I've used it quite a bit. You can see that the coating's starting to come off. So first step to removing that, the rest of that coating, is to take the handle scales off. So these are Allen wrench, and they're very easy to get these uh, handles off on the Beckers. So once you take those three screws off, the handles will just pop right off, and you'll have just the blade left. Now some people will wrap this end in like tape or something like that because they don't want to take the coating off and run the risk of water getting in there and rusting the blade inside here. I'm not too worried about that. So next thing I have here is just a tray and I've lined it with four or five sheets of aluminum foil. Just enough that you're not going to puncture it because the Jasco, if it gets on that plastic, it'll start to eat it pretty much right away. So this BK9 just fits that tray. So I'm gonna use this Jasco uh, paint and epoxy remover. You can pick this up at like Lowe's or Home Depot. This is the gel and you can also use the spray, but since I bought this big can, you know, I'm just gonna use this. It is very, very, um, you know, harmful to like your hands or something like that if you get it on. So you're definitely gonna wanna wear gloves or just be very, very careful. So after giving this a good shake, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this Pour this right on the knife and just grab you know a disposable plastic spoon and you can use that to just spread it over the surface here then once I've got it coated I can flip it over and go ahead and do the other side So after about five minutes, I just flipped it over and uh, just recoated it. Now I'm doing this inside. You know, the Jasco is made for like stripping floors and things, so it doesn't really have a toxic smell or anything, but you're definitely not gonna wanna be mean. You're gonna wanna wear gloves. I've just done it a ton of times and I never get any really on me, but when you do get it on you, just even a little drip, it does suck. So just be careful of that. And if you wanna see how much it eats, you can see that this spoon is just done for. It's just pretty much just eating this spoon alive. So that's what it does to your skin if you get it on your skin. So wear gloves. So after about 15-20 minutes, I just use a wire brush. You can pick these up real cheap at the store. But it works real well. You can see you just start scraping here. So then what I'll do is just drop it down into some soapy water and all I'm doing there is just neutralizing the chemical. You can see even if you get a little bit on your skin, it starts to suck pretty soon. Then for this part, since I'm going to be directly touching the blade, I do throw some gloves on. But then I'll just take some steel wool. And I can get the remaining little bits off. So this is what it looks like after you get most of the coating off. 
You can see there's still some coating on the top there and still some on the bottom of the handle but I'm going to take some sandpaper to get that off but the majority of the coating is off Time to go big or go home. I got a bigger container here. I'm going to do this one just about a quarter of the way with some larger rocks and some smaller rocks. And I'm going to grab some smaller rocks as well. All right, so I got the top taped on and I'm just gonna roll it up in this blanket for some extra padding. In case you were wondering, yep, I put that whole big thing in the dryer, but I did add some extra blankets in there to pad the, uh, the dryer a little bit. <laughs> so we'll see. It's quite dull right now, so I have to sharpen it back up, but I kind of like that dulled out stone wash finish and it definitely does have a little bit of a stone wash finish. I had to take it out of the dryer a little bit earlier uh, or a little bit early because the rocks were starting to fall out into the dryer and I didn't want to hurt the dryer any more than I probably already did. So I'm going to leave it like that for a while. I, uh, I oiled it up and I sharpened it up so it's nice and sharp again because it does get quite dull after you tumble it in the rocks. It's a lot easier with smaller blades because you don't have to have as large of a container. It weighed quite a bit with the rocks and things and then I threw it into the dryer. So probably not good. Probably a, a, you know, a pretty quick way to ruin your dryer. But, um, but I tumbled it in there for about an hour and then like I said, the rocks started falling out so I had to take it out. So at some point I'll probably do it for another hour and that should kind of hide the rest of these uh, you know, sanding marks in there and give it an either even further stone wash finish. But I'm happy with it for the first time around ever, uh, ever stone washing anything. And uh, so give it a try, you know, it's cool to, it's cool to make things your own. And even if they don't turn out perfect, uh, definitely is a lot better, I think, than with that coating on it. So again, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And I think it looks pretty dang sweet. So I hope you guys liked this video today. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. And as always, guys, subscribe for more videos.